Hey guys, this is Slanderpillow, what's up? I'm back with another Call of Duty commentary. Today's gameplay is a Dragon of Moab on the map terminal. Uh, it's like just under 3 minutes, so hopefully you guys enjoy that. So this is technically my first proper Call of Duty commentary. Uh, with the Black Magic Intensity Pro. So hopefully you guys enjoy the quality. Um, it's, it's... It just stands out a lot. Everything kind of is crisper, considering it's using the HDMI signal. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. So last night I was playing Call of Duty. Um, I seriously played it for about five, five, six hours. Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops, and Modern Warfare 3. And I just did not have any fun whatsoever. I don't know what was happening, but I just had no fun. And I just thought I'd explain to you guys why I'm actually putting myself through Modern Warfare 3 and everything. And if I was to be truthfully, brutally honest, I am only playing Call of Duty at the moment because I want to go into Black Ops 2 bringing the best gameplay I possibly can. And if I was to take a break, which I really would do if I wasn't doing YouTube, if I was to take a break, I probably would lose a certain amount of skill, I guess. Um, and I really don't want that. I want to go into Black Ops 2 being able to pump out the best gameplays that I possibly can. Um, and that kind of means continue, continually playing COD, but I'm just not having any fun and I really, really don't know. I, I, I was seriously considering taking that break, but I just, I want to be able to get out the best, uh, best gameplay that I possibly can, but I don't know, it's just, it's ridiculous. But I was to go off that topic for a second, um, and kind of ignore that dark side of thinking. So, about two months ago, I brought up in a commentary that I broke my, or fractured my right ring finger, um, and then I had to have a splint on, and then I did another commentary just talking about it again, just bringing up the point that I had a fractured ring finger. I don't think I brought up the story of when I went to the doctors to get it removed. So just briefly, I fractured it um, on the front side of the knuckle, kind of. And when I went to the doctors, um, when I went to the x-ray guy, he looked at it and he said it still looked fractured. And I was like, oh fuck, another week or two of wearing the splints, that's shit. But then when I got to the doctors, he said it was fine. But he also had that hint of he's not telling me the whole truth, so I wasn't sure what the fuck was going on. I didn't bring up the fact that the x-ray guy said it st still looked broken. I didn't bring it up, even though I should have. But um, I didn't bring it up, and I really probably should have. And then after I took off the splint, it actually, the doctor said like was surprised with the amount of movement I had and that's all he said he was like oh you have that much movement oh that's impressive and I just hated the fact that it felt like he wasn't telling me the whole fucking truth um it seriously like I, I, I didn't want to be rude and say what the fuck are you not telling me but geez the way he just kind of said everything I it I think it's all good now I think um it's all healed up, and my right finger, right ring fingers, you know, healed up and everything. But I seriously wanted to just scream at the guy, what the hell are you not telling me? Because it felt so dodgy. But yeah, I just thought I'd bring that up. Um, if you guys enjoyed this gameplay, feel free to leave a like rating. Subscribe if you are nerdy, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye.